What's up guys, I'm Jake. And I'm Tyler. And welcome back to Spirits with Spirits. Where we're gonna try some spirits and talk about spirits. And on today's episode, we've got ghost tequila. Yikes. We've got the ghost tequila. It's gonna be a spicy tequila, so it's gonna have some kick to it. Oh no. Uh, we might wanna bring out some chips and salsa because it's gonna be a spicy one. So, let's take some shots and get into it. So, before we open this, the seal is still sealed. I noticed that this is crooked, the label here. You notice So, if you're an avid alcohol collector, does that make it worth more? Because I know with like dollar bills and stuff, if it's like imperfect, it's worth more. This bottle is what? 28 bucks. Make it 280. Yeah, exactly. Like the label's crooked. I mean, I already took the plastic steel off, but it's still sealed. Let us know down below. We'll put the seal back on. So we don't have limes, so we've got lemons. We still have our glasses from last video. All right, so here's the seal. Oh, that's nice. Give us little ones. We'll make a drink with it, but give us little ones. Tequila makes me want to die. Nasty shot. Give me a second to prepare. <laughs> Tequila is... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> mm. it, it, it's spicy just, just smelling it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're doing this for you. It's tequila time. What's the song? Arriba, abajo, pendejo. No, that, don't use that word. <laughs> Help. Lemon helped a lot. I got a seed in my lemon. That wasn't bad. The lemon helped. Lemon would have been better. Honestly, that combination of flavor though is not bad. I'll tell you what. I feel the kick. Yeah. I feel the spice. I it's can't. still lingering in my throat. Like I don't taste it too much, so I actually can't tell you what it tastes like. But I feel the kick. I hate tequila, but I love margaritas. Yeah, margaritas are um, good. I'm feeling the burn right now because there's I there's peppers in there. I thought the the label had a heart in its hand. Pepper. What? Ghost pepper. <laughs> nice. <laughs> My man figured it out. That's a pepper. Not a heart. Ghost Blanco Spicy. This is a 750 milliliter bottle with a 40% alcohol volume. 100% agave azul. It's got a story in the back. Spiciness is a sensation and a state of mind. Apply to people, way better stories. Apply to tequila, way better cocktails. That's why we made Ghost, an exceptionally balanced 100% blue agave spicy tequila created behind a bar and perfected in Jalisco, Mexico. Jalisco? I don't know how to say that. Jalisco. Jalisco? Jalisco in Mexico. Ghost adds just enough heat to spark your taste buds without ever overpowering. That's true. I agree, yeah. That's like, true. It has a nice spice that's just sitting in the back of my throat right it's now. It's there, but... Pause. <laughs> Enjoy a sip, unlike any other. Stay spicy, drink responsibly, ghosttequila.com. Stay thirsty, my friends. Hey, yo, Ghost Tequila, sponsor us. Let's get into the video. Oh, shit, we weren't recording. We were Sometimes you wear stretchy pantsies for fun. All right, look at me, look at me. Nacho! Sorry, neighbors. Um, Bro, did you see that they're making a Minecraft movie with Jack yeah, Black? I saw that. What do you I, think about I that? I think it'll be good. Like, because the Super Mario movie, I was like hesitant about. But then, it was good. Yeah, it was really good. So I'm like, okay, if they're going to do the same thing with Minecraft, they got to. Especially with Jack Black. He's in both movies. There's a common denominator there. Oops. Hey, we already got a comment. What's up, guys? You're looking into a direct view live at our comment section. Somebody just commented and said, Stop messing with demons before they demonize you. Accept Christ and you can be free. Jesus is the only way. And it has two thumbs two up. Two likes, yeah. Well, we both, you know, accept Christ. Um, What's that respond? Amen. Amen, brother, with the emoji. We gotta like it. We gotta heart I'm gonna say it. we love Jesus. And then I'm gonna say amen. I love ghosts and your mom. They're consistent with comments. If you are I love ghosts and your mom, you rock. Yeah, keep commenting. Like, it's very interesting how many people are like, stop, Johnson. stop this. Yeah, we've gotten like so many of those videos. And like, I understand the thought process, but those are like old school religious. Uh, I can't talk for Jacob, but for me, like this is more so I'm trying to show prove to myself that this is something that's real and like that's that there is something after life yeah we try to take the precautions as much as we can 
Obviously, we, we're not perfect. It's not really a science. It's yeah, more so a trial and error, but we try to take as many precautions as possible. So we appreciate the comments. Obviously, the comments aren't meant to be uplifting of like, hey, be safe. It's more so like shunning us for doing yeah. it. But like, I know, people hate this. Yeah, but like, I take it as like people actually care about like safety and yeah. just know that we try to take as many precautions as possible. And if we ever feel to the point where we've crossed the line, we'll probably take a few steps back. So, yeah. so we've got our mixed drinks. We got our ghost the, tequila. With the ghost spicy tequila. With the tilted label and, and a little a kick. pepper. A little kick. Pepper, not hard. Today's episode is gonna be on doppelgangers or mimics. I've heard both. I don't know what the official term is, but I'm gonna go with those because that's that's what I've heard them as. I can't so, say I've ever heard mimic, no. but I feel like I've heard it as a Pokemon. You know, am I right or am I wrong? Possibly. So the cool thing about doppelganger, not the cool thing, because <laughs> it's really freaking creepy. But yeah, like, it's a little weird. Just imagining like you're walking through your apartment or your house or whatnot, and seeing who you think is like a loved one or whatnot, and having a full-on conversation with them, and then just like ten minutes later, them opening the door and them being home, and then you're just like. Who did I just talk to? That's creepy to me. Like, just imagine yeah. that happening. That would be I would really probably creepy. lose my mind. I think I would probably move out right away. Unless they can follow me. I don't know. I don't know the lore on, on doppelgangers. Like, I, we're going to have to look into that. Let us know in the comments. What do you think about doppelgangers? This is from Itty Bitty 216 with two T's. Around 15 years ago, when both of my kids were toddlers, I was putting them to bed one night and my son was adamant that he wear his favorite red race car pajamas. Very nice. He must be a Ferrari fan. I happily obliged, helped him change into them and tucked him in the bed. Then I sat down at my kitchen table with a friend who had come over to chat and catch up. I love a good friend. The way that my apartment was set up, you could see my kid's bedroom doorway from the kitchen table. My friend and I were talking for a while before we were suddenly interrupted by the sound of my son screaming. We both turned and looked at the bedroom doorway and saw my son standing there loudly crying and shrieking and wearing his green pajamas with airplanes on them. Everything inside of me was screaming that this was wrong. The hair on the back of my neck stood on end and a cold shiver shot down my spine. My friend and I wordlessly stared at each other for a second. We both knew that my son couldn't change his pajamas by himself yet. We looked at the doorway and my son was gone. We ran to the bedroom and found him tucked in bed, still sweeping peacefully in his red race car pajamas. What? My friend asked me if I saw him standing there in his green airplane pajamas and I confirmed that I had. My friend freaked out and left. <laughs> <laughs> what a good friend. Yeah, for real. I'll just leave him hanging. You just, deal with this. I'm gone. There's just a demon child in here. Good luck. Yeah, like, I'm not dealing with that. Uh, what? I slept on my kid's bedroom floor that night to make sure nothing happened to them. My friend and I still talk about it to this day. It's one of the craziest things that ever happened to me. My son, of course, doesn't remember any of it, but he loves hearing the story of how his doppelganger scared the crap out of us. He's a real one for that. Usually it's like a doppelganger of like an old person. I've never yeah, thought of it as a kid. I feel like that's creepy. I've also like never, I've never put like doppelganger in like paranormal lore. Mm -hmm. I've always just it's like, oh, it's a weird coincidence that person looks like this person. Yeah. But like, that's weird. Mm -hmm. That's like a paranormal occurrence for yeah. sure. Yeah, I've heard stories about people who like see the, their loved ones or like their friend or something mm -hmm. like, you know, someone they know doing something like that's weird yeah. and they like go somewhere else and they see them doing something normal and you're like mm -hmm. but weren't you there but they weren't to me that's just mind blowing <laughs> that's crazy i would love to learn the lore on doppelgangers because like they're physically in form mimicking your loved one yeah. or mimicking somebody that you know now wait pause question are doppelgangers Skinwalkers. That's a good question. Or are skinwalkers a whole separate entity? Let us know in the comments below. What do you yeah, think? Let us know what you think. I'd be interested to learn on that of like what the difference is. Yeah, we'll have to do a, a skinwalker yeah. edition. Um, post story number one, I'm going to give a quick review of this tequila. I don't mind it. I think it's actually pretty good. I like the kick, I like the spice, and it tastes good. This is from Parasaur Matthew. This is a year ago. I've heard and seen a few. This is talking about doppelgangers. My dad woke me up once, shaking me awake and telling me to get up 
in a very urgent tone he rarely used. I didn't turn around to face him or anything, just fell back asleep after hearing heavy footsteps walk off. I later woke up in a panic, thinking I'd missed an appointment or something. And when I asked my dad about it later, he said he hadn't even left his room. Ooh, that's weird. The second time this happened, I woke up and felt like I was being watched. This time I opened my eyes and glanced to the bathroom door, and my sibling was staring at me. They slowly moved over to the edge of the bed, like weirdly slow. I sat up and told them to go back to bed. The house was so creepy that I knew they wouldn't head downstairs in the middle of the night, no matter what. I offered them to bring them back up, but they didn't register anything I was saying. So they sat down, and it was pretty much a wordless staring contest. Ooh, already weird. Like, yeah. if you're like... Eventually they left, still without saying anything, and I went back to sleep and asked about it in the morning. As they expected, they never left the room upstairs. So it wasn't them. No. Unless it, I will say they could be like sleepwalking. That is fair. But if they weren't sleepwalking, that's yeah, insane. Yeah. The last one I can remember was my sister coming home, the front door opening up and slamming with her yelling at us saying she was home before hearing her jog downstairs. She was supposed to be at work, so my mom and I exchanged glances and went to go greet her. We messaged both her and my older sister, both of which were not home and never came home. I kind of wish I got to see what opened the door. Everyone in the house heard it so that that one I can confirm was not brought on by sleep deprived hallucinations. Weird stuff really, the first two happened at my grandma's house where one person passed away and the second was in our old home. Huh. That is odd. So basically, their sister came home unexpectedly from work when they should have been at work. Right. And then came back home later. Yeah. The they, second time. And they were never there the first time for real. Right. That is weird. Like my question is like, what brings that on? Right. Like, what is it? Like a a spirit that's trying to become like normal or like get back into like a routine? Or is it somebody something that's like trying to cause harm? Of like, yeah. Like, what could that? Like, what paranormal entity would mimic a person so perfectly? Like, that's so weird to me. Like, why would they do that? And again, let us know in the comments if you guys have thoughts on doppelgangers or like. Or even skinwalkers or anything. Final story. Let's Final story. Knock it out. It's a long one, but we've got this. So I can only assume what myself and my mom encountered was a doppelganger. This is also by an unauthorized user, so we don't know who it's by. Before I start, my dad used to work at night. Anyways, when I was around six or seven, I lived in a townhouse with my mom and dad up until my mom passed away less than a couple months later. And she was pouring me some milk in the kitchen like every other night, and I was winding down for school the next day. Uh, me. How old was this person? Six to seven. Okay. I was, I was gonna say, why yeah. is your mom pouring you milk every night? But mm -hmm. eh, all right, so yeah, I'll give it to you. There was nothing scary about this night, and I just was waiting for my mom to pour milk and looking into our living room in front of me, looking at things and just waiting. However, on one of my head swivels from looking around, my dad had appeared in front of the closet door in our living room. It didn't oh. scare me at first since I just assumed that it was my dad, but looking back, there was no noise ever made. Our doors and floors creaked, and with how quiet it was, we would have heard anyone moving around. However, what was so scary about it was my dad, in quotes, was just standing there and staring at us from across the room. It wasn't scary at first since I was still under the impression it was my dad, but the longer he kept standing there and staring at me, the scarier it got. He didn't move an inch, didn't blink, and the longer I kept looking at him, I noticed his eyes were so small, or too small. They were wide open, but small enough to where it looked wrong. I remember I started to blink and rub my eyes because I thought maybe I was seeing things, but it just kept standing there for a good minute longer until a blink later it just disappeared. No noise at all. There was no way considering it disappeared in a blink for it to have humanely moved that fast without making some kind of sound. The only way it could have disappeared as fast as it did is if it slammed the door shut behind it. I remember how terrified I was at that point looking to my mom to see if she saw it too, but she didn't say anything and so I assumed I had just hallucinated it for years. That wasn't until a few years ago I was telling my dad about that night and he told me my mom had also seen it, but due to her mental health problems and me not saying anything to her or him about it, he dismissed it as a hallucination. Nothing quite like that has ever happened to me again, but the experience was the reason for years I couldn't sleep without a light on. Before that day, I was not afraid of the dark, I didn't believe in ghosts, didn't even understand people that could actually die at that point, and every night after that incident until we moved, I was petrified to even sleep in my room. Dang, man. 
See, that's like one of the ones that I was like describing of like yeah. a loved one just like sitting there and you're like expecting them to react to you or like Being to normal in any way. Yeah. And then they're just like standing there staring at you or like looking away. It gives me gives me chill goosebumps. I feel like my whole like year would be flipped around if I yeah. saw someone that I knew and they're like, Oh yeah, that was me. Mm -hmm. That's so weird. I don't yeah. I, I still just can't wrap my head around the fact that like how, A, how does that work? Are doppelgangers just hallucinations? Right. Or is or, it, is it something physically manifesting itself? Yeah, and like... Because like, it could still be paranormal either way. No, of course. Like, even if it's a hallucination, it could be something that's messing with your mind, or maybe it's a full-on apparition. But is it an apparition, or does it get into skinwalker territory of an actual shapeshifter? I'm wondering if doppelgangers bridge the gap to skinwalkers, or if it's the same thing. <laughs> Maybe that's what our next video should be about. Yep. Skinwalkers. Let me show you. Drink it. Oh yeah. I know. It's so hard. I actually don't mind this. I think it's actually a good tequila for what yeah, it is. Yeah, I like it's just I don't like tequila. So like I feel like as a margarita. Oh I feel like this would be really good yeah. as a margarita. I think so too. Low key, I think we should honestly make some margaritas from this. I'm gonna give this a seven point five. Just because I'm more, I like vodka better, but this isn't bad. For for me that does not like tequila, it's not bad. I'm gonna give this a 7.5. Yep. Yeah. I'm with you. 7.5, right? I think this is good. Right in the middle. Like, yep. I'm that's not a, a pretty solid rating. I'm not a tequila guy, but that's, that's not bad. This is from MJ Smore 33 This started happening last summer. This is from a year ago. This started happening last summer. It so, only lasted a few months. So two summers ago. Yes. Quick maths. This happened three or four times. Once something mimicked me at work, I'll put that one in a separate post. Oh, well then, why mention it? First time it happened, I was washing dishes and I thought I had seen my husband walk out of our bedroom into the bathroom. My back would have been to him, so I see this out of the corners of my eyes. The bathroom light didn't turn on though, so I looked and no one was, no one was in the bathroom. I checked the room and he was asleep. I could have sworn he went to the bathroom though. <laughs> but also, she's doing a chore. I'm gonna try to debunk this real quick. Oh, here we go. He's sleeping. When you wake up at like five o'clock in the morning, you don't turn the lights on. You're trying to do your business so you can go right back to sleep, which he probably did, but she's doing a chore, so she kind of loses track of time. I think man just didn't flush the toilet. <laughs> a few days later, I was sitting outside with my dogs in the middle of the day. It was around the time my husband comes home from work. I was laying in my hammock reading a book. Damn, that's kind of nice. That's a vibe and a half right there. I checked the room and he was asleep. I saw my husband walk towards our shop. I said, hi sweetie, how was work? While putting down my book. And I didn't get a response. I got up and realized the shop was closed, locked out front, and his car wasn't there. My dogs did react when I saw it, so I know they saw it too. Yeah. The last time, I didn't see anything, but I heard his voice. Now that's Skinwalker. That's yeah. So think about it. So she's on a property with porch, with a hammock, with a shop. She's They're vibing. on property. She's vibing out. Yeah, they've got property. So that I think could be Skinwalker. Skinwalkers, like the videos and stuff like that on the internet, it's always auditory. Yeah, yeah, the biggest thing is you can hear things. Yeah, like you can hear somebody help So me. that's why I think maybe mimics and like skinwalkers mm -hmm. kind of do the same thing. Yeah. Again, right around the time he gets home, I heard his voice. I was in our bedroom folding laundry and I thought I had heard the door open. I then heard, no, get down, which he says to our puppy, because she, she would jump on him. I walked out to greet him and no one was there. I looked for his car, not there. When he got home, I told him about what I had been experiencing, and it hasn't happened again since then, but I continue to see shadow figures, which has been happening for years. Maybe she needs some Jesus in her life. I think there's a skinwalker yeah. on their property. Mm -hmm. I think if you're seeing things, and I think if you're he especially hearing things, yeah. that's a skinwalker if I've ever yeah, totally. I don't know that it's the Hoplinger, because like... Well, unless they're the same thing. Maybe. I mean, I think some of these stories kind of show us that maybe they might be one and the same. Yeah, maybe, maybe like... Just, it's like different cultures have named it different things. Or it's like a form of a skinwalker that like literally specifically mimics a person. Yeah. But I guess that is a skinwalker in general, so I don't know. Either way, creepy. Interesting. So this one is her office story that she mentioned in the other video. Oh, we actually get it. <laughs> or not the other video, the other, the other story. Nice, we get it. I, so, was, I was wondering about that. Yeah. I was like... So I feel like that'd be kind of nice, nicely pieced together. So 
Let's get into it. Let's get into it. This was also posted a year ago. Okay, so here's when something mimicked me. Thanks for the intro. I was working on an old office building that was known for being haunted. It's one of the oldest buildings in town and everyone that has worked there has seen or experienced something. One day we were preparing for an event at the office. I was upstairs grabbing stuff and walked downstairs. It took like a minute. Two coworkers looked confused and asked how it was possible that I got the supplies from upstairs when I had just walked into the downstairs office. Turns out they watched me, in quotations, walk from a back hallway and into a back office. Yo. This is on the back side of the building. The stairs were in the center of the building. They were confused by that because I had said I was going upstairs, but obviously just made a loop downstairs. I told them I didn't make a loop, that I went to the top of the stairs, grabbed the supplies, and came right back. I walked back into the front room seconds after they swear they watched me walk into the back office. The area is known to have drug users, so I thought maybe someone had broken in through the back. We checked ABS, no one was in the office. Plot twist, all of her coworkers are on drugs. Yeah, They're the that's drug fair. users. They're the drug users, they broke in. Uh, they swear it was me, same clothes and everything. The same clothes things, that's weird. Like That's weird? And it's also weird that she had an experience at her own place mm -hmm. and her coworkers had an experience of her. So maybe she's the one that is like is attached. Attached. Yeah. She needs to go get saged or exercised. Yeah, she needs to hit a few like bicep curls, a little exercise. Yeah. No, that's weird though. I mean, bro, dude, imagine if someone was like, oh yeah, I saw you doing this. And you're like, no, not me. But everyone, like multiple people were like, no, yeah. that was you. Like I saw you do it. One day I'm doing like, we're doing like an investigation. Oh, and, like you just see me like in the room investigating. Yeah. And then I come from another room and I'm like, hey, guess what I saw? And I'm like, but you were there. <laughs> what if I do a whole investigation with you? And at the very end, I get home and you're like, yeah, where have you been? I've been waiting to start this investigation. I really think that like, Mimics and doppelgangers. I think they're really part of the skinwalker group. Yeah. You know? I think it's one of those things where different cultures call to different things, but they never combined. Yeah. They've always that seen separate. It. That might be it. If you guys know and might be more well versed in it, then let us know down below. Please do. Yeah, if you guys know a thing or two about spicy vodka, also let us know. And by vodka, I mean tequila, because that's what we're drinking. 7.5 is a pretty high rating for tequila for me. I think this is a good tequila. I think uh, it's a fun one to read some Reddit stories too. Oh yeah, and that's not a heart that it's holding, it's a pepper. But the uh, light just flicker? Yeah, I thought I saw that too. I will say that's never happened before. Yeah. The skinwalkers are here. They heard us talking about shit. So that's one of the other things that, this might be another video, but like manifesting. Yeah. Like sometimes there's energies that if you talk about something, they try to create that. Well, you know, you're never supposed to say the word skinwalker, which we've said multiple times tonight. Yeah. So maybe they're here. It's kind of like that uh, Bloody Mary thing, but at least the doors are locked, so. Can't get in. Yep. Doors are locked. 7.5, that's what I give it. 7.5 <laughs> for the ghost spice tequila. Yep. I'd recommend it. Yeah. I'd I think it's it. fun. It's a nice, nice kick to it. Yeah. Take nice a, kick to the palate. If you're 21 or older, obviously, we're not pandering to the lo younger audience with these videos, but uh, get on out. Let us know your thoughts on mimics, yes. doppelgangers. What if that bottle is a mimic or a doppelganger because this crooked, crooked label? Yeah, we've got an entity. Where's the EMF? <laughs> Wait a minute. It's over there. All right, guys, here's the test. Final test of the night is the bottle of ghost. Doppelganger. Is it haunted? No. What? What? No. We're just tipsy. Yeah. Until next time, let us know what you guys think about the doppelgangers, series. the series. Yeah. If you guys have any suggestions for alcohols, if you guys have any suggestions for Reddit topics, let us know. But until next time, thank you guys for watching. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace.